morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday. We love Fridays. And today, I installed this six zone Whale McLean CGA5 about eight, nine years ago. There's all my supply piping on top coming off there. Low at a cutoff, looks like someone already played with that. Disconnected that. Pressure reducing valve, expansion tank, right where it should be, below the air scoop. There's my supply lines. And on the opposite side, I have all the circulators. As you can see, even years ago, used those Webstone isolation valves at Purge. I don't think these are Webstone though. But we are here because of this. Taiko SR506 six zone switching relay went on fire. Look at that, burnt everything to a crisp. So there's the new one, but we also got to diagnose why that happened. And I guess we'll figure that out. Power is on. line voltage coming in and this originated looks like right here with power coming into this these led lights are just basically charred but power here looks like it was the cause the relay that's not supposed to come out like that no Looks like the relief valve was dripping a little bit, but there's nothing on the underside of it that can cause that. I'm on the phone with, on hold with Takeo. I want them to uh, be aware of this, but I'm on hold, so it is what it is. I'll get this thing, sw start to swap this thing out. All right, whatever the fuck this is. That's zone six, looks like. switch all right so let's start down here actually let's get the drill with the quarter inch on it i'm going to take this thing off hold on one second let me get All right, so what am I going to test? Hold on. Yellow to red is 34, okay. So if it's not, what what kind of deviation, what kind of margin of uh, devi deviation can we get from those numbers? Uh, I don't have. I mean, per se, I mean, you know, three, three to five, eight, ten percent. I would say the most. Okay. If 
it's a show, I think you can see it. Uh, yeah. Open. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So. All right. So yellow to red, 34 ohms. Yellow to black, 92. Red to black, 126. At most, 10% deviation from that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Be well. Bye. All right. You heard that. Yes, sir. So the YouTube. Look at that. You want to run with this one, too. Uh, all right. This is yellow. So yellow to red. 34. It's 34. My flashlight is done. Yeah. Uh, all right. disconnect yellow to red 34 we're at 32 mm -hmm. all right so chances are the other ones are good but we'll check those out later i want to get this thing in place i could be funny sometimes 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 this thing is burnt <laughs> like my <laughs> thanksgiving turkey <laughs> Like literally to a crisp. <laughs> All right, I got three done so far. Work, working on the last three, starting from the right to the left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna do the thermostats, and those look pretty charred up. I have to replace those. But Takeo gave us the instructions on how to um, ohm out each circulator, which is kind of odd. If it is a circulator, it did it because there's fuses to prevent that from happening. You know, there's onboard fuses right there between each relay. But we'll test them and see what happens. All right. Let's see what we did here. There it is. All the zones are on except for one. Though. They need some serious PM here. Wait, this thing to fire up. All the circulators checked out, all right. You know, we checked. Yeah, they <laughs> Let this thing cycle again. Wait for the damper to open. It's electronic ignition. Pilot valve, pilot valve, main valve, and main valve. PV, PV, MV, MV. Come on, baby. All right, we'll have to figure out what's going on with this. All right, turns out the gas valve is shot. So let's get this done. I'll show you how we do it. Steven's gonna grab the phone. Yes, 
We'll get another run. Yeah. POS Piece of ship I got the Honeywell BR 8345M Comes with bushings To reduce down Not plastic Yeah, Aquasana well, it's gas. <laughs> really shouldn't. Make sure we get direction of flow. Pointing down. Alright. Throw some dope on that side right there. We're going to Dope is cold. It's cold. It's cold and tired. It was frosty out here today. It's cold and tired. It's warm out now. Yeah, right now it's beautiful. Wow. It was like 30, like 40 degrees when we got here. What, an hour ago? Yep. And it's like 55 right now. You gotta love it. Miss summertime though. Oh yeah. Miss summertime. Yeah, I'd rather be in a hot attic than when it's cold. Really? Yeah. You'd rather be in a hot attic than the cold? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cold, man. Bones. <laughs> the bones are cold. Yes, sir. The bones. I know that old man yesterday was happy he had to have heat. That's what's wrong. 
with his Borg Warner. Was that his son, maybe? Nah. No. Definitely not his son. <laughs> At all. He's old, though, anyway. Maybe yeah. his grandson. Nah, he's dang it. He was telling me, like, yo, this guy just comes up here, you know, ask permission. You know, like, I'll be having my wife over here in her robe. He was telling me all that. Because he's like, yo, <laughs> I just came up here, nobody asked me. I was like, my bad. I thought this was all one house. <laughs> mm. Always does that. Just comes up here how he wants. Oh. There's a rat. We gotta put that on the hoarding and dragon. Take the plug out for the pilot that's plugged. Because this gas valve you can use for a hot service ignition too, so there's no standing pilot. You know, I'm sorry, there's no intermittent pilot. So this valve, there's a little sticker right there. You know, do not remove plug for HSI. Tighten that up. Oh, should I should get the special wrench for my pilot. Make the YouTube viewers happy. Yeah. The right tool for the job. <laughs> you wanna waste another five seconds? No, I'm good. PV. PV MV. MV. You know, take a picture of the wiring before you take it off. That way you know what wire goes where. In this case, blue is PV, which is pilot valve. The red wire is main valve, MV, and the white wire is pilot valve, main valve. All right, so now that that's on, Steven's gonna flip that switch on. I'm gonna screw this thing back together, and then we're gonna do a combustion analysis. Stay tuned. New valve is in, instant ignition. We're gonna drill a hole. Approximately six inches off the top of the boiler. Okay. And then we're gonna get the Testo 320 and do a combustion analysis. And like I said, I put this in about eight, nine years ago. That was BT. Guys, you know what that means? BT before Testo. <laughs> Come on, you, you got a smile on your face, don't you? BT, before <laughs> Testo. Definitely well before BC. Oh. Before Corona. Before Corona. Before China. All right. Take a look at these numbers. Again, this is very important to do that after, a, especially after a gas valve replacement. We want to make sure that our oxygen is at a proper level and our CO2 is at a proper level. You guys that can watch earlier videos and know what those numbers should be. I'm not gonna take you, not gonna divulge too much information right now. But most importantly, the CO, the PPM should be under 50 to be acceptable. That's my industry standard. So I'm gonna let that run, get that to temperature, and we have another satisfied client. Thanks for watching. If you're a 21 percenter, thank you for your support by being a subscriber. And if you are not a subscriber, support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you. God bless America.